Hey guys, that might give me back here for another video. Guys, in this video, what I want to talk about is going to be, um, well, welcome back to an episode of my sniping series videos. Series, so let's get started, guys. What I want to talk about today is going to be, um, what cards to snipe right now. So, this actually applies to whenever a big promo uh, launches, kind of like the playoff promo, or the Super Bowl promo, or whatever promo it may be. A lot of people are going to try to sell everything that they invested into the promo right away to make the most amount of coins. And the way you can actually make a lot of coins and by sniping these cards is go to your auction block, set it to, let's say, um, all offense. And look, so this is 1600, 1800. Now, if someone put the card up for 1100, which happens all the time because people just want to get rid of the cards. Um, then you can easily snipe that, put it up for 1500 Now, these are not the biggest snipes in the world. I understand that. But if you have some time to kill, you have nothing else you're doing, and you go through all these teams, you probably could get about, I would say in an hour, maybe 100 of these, 150. And if you make 200 coins for 150, you know, it's going to start adding up. So I'm not good at math. <laughs> Never been. So let's see. So you make 400 coins each one, and you get 150 times. That's 60,000 coins, just like that. So it's going to add up, but what you're going to want to do, especially is go to all offense and all defense. This way it shows the cheapest card up, because when there's so many cards up in the auction block, it actually isn't showing you the cheapest one, because there's too many to show. So this is the easiest way to do it, and I recommend doing this probably at like nighttime, when not as many people are on, because then you can actually see the 59 minute um, card. So this is my recommendation on how to get some good snipes in this game, especially during times like this where it's a playoff promo. People are just you know throwing cards up in the auction block. They're trying to sell them real quick, trying to get rid of them, and that is pretty much the way to get the best snipes is when people are just trying to sell their cards. And another thing to talk about is going to be. Um, the playoff promo did come, which means that the market will crash a little bit. It won't crash like total crash. I thought it was going to total crash, but um, after seeing the sets and how they're so difficult to do, it won't crash the market 100%, but it will bring the price down of a lot of cards. So what that means is I told you guys to sell your team before. Um, right now, do not sell your team. If you haven't sold it yet, keep your team because it's not worth it right now. What you're going to want to do is wait. Um, so I'm guessing what this means is if we actually go um, to the sets right here and we actually go to playoffs, it says these expire on the 29th. So what I'm guessing is that means the team of the year comes out on the 30th. That's my assumption based on that this the next promo would be the team of the year. So I'm guessing team of the year comes out on the 30th. And then, you know, Super Bowl. I don't know, actually. Because the Super Bowl is on, like, the 2nd, right? The 2nd of February. Mm, maybe. I don't know. Team of the Year is coming out sometime. I expect it to come out 30th if, if this expires on 29th. Who knows, though? Maybe they'll only do a Super Bowl promo for the day of the Super Bowl. Who knows how EA is going to work this. But what we do know is that right now the markets crash. Do not sell your team. Wait until the market goes back up. Once the market goes back up, that's when I recommend selling your team. I'm oh, sorry, uh, buying, yeah, selling your team once the market goes back up. Because then it's going to go right back down for team of the year. So it's kind of funny. So um, right now the markets, when I say it's crash, it's not 100% like crazy crash. It's just that there's a lot of players right now that are lower in price because of these higher overall players. But it's not completely crashed because of the fact that Tom Brady, yes, is 97. So every quarterback that's 96 and below dropped in price. But the issue is these players are 94. Which, yeah, that's, oh my god, the 94 overall LeGarrette Blunt. But the issue with 94 overall LeGarrette Blunt, Blunt is that Frank Gore 94 came, came out today. We have 95 Le'Veon Bell. And I believe we have some other 95 overall running backs. So therefore, this Aguirre Blunt is not going to drop the price of any of those expensive running backs. He's going to drop the price of the cheaper ones, but that's pretty much it. Same thing with this cornerback Marcus Peters. If you have Deion Sanders 96 overall, he's not going to be affected. And anyone who any Josh Norman 95 overall up, 
is not going to be affected by this card. So it's a crash, market crash for lower end cards. So higher end cards are not going to be affected by this, but team of the year will kill the price of higher end cards because that's going to be 95 to 97 overall players. It will kill the price of most cards. So that is when, you know, 100% you do not want a team. You want that team out of there. Um, this, you you know, you can walk around this. This is just a lower end cards are going to lose value. So if you want to buy back your lower end cards, maybe that might be a good idea. But your higher end cards are going to be the same exact price. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And make sure you join the GOAT list down below in the description. Peace out, guys.